Hey there, my friends. Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to the Recipe Therapist. Today, do I have a treat for you. I'm gonna show you all how I make my fall candy shop trifle. It's not only magnificent looking, it's decadent and delicious, and it's sure to be a crowd pleaser at all your holiday gatherings this year. So come on, let me show you how I do it. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken out my glass trifle bowl. I prepared two boxes of cook and serve chocolate pudding. And as an option, I've spiked it with two tablespoons of cream de cocoa, which is totally optional. I've also prepared one box of dark chocolate brownie mix. I have my Reese's peanut butter cups cut in half, and I've left six whole ones for the top. I have my Reese's pieces, my melted peanut butter, and two containers of Cool Whip topping. Okay, so now we're ready to put our trifle together. So what I have here are my dark chocolate brownies. I'm gonna take about eight pieces that I've cut into one inch squares, and I'm gonna butt them right up against the glass dish. I'm gonna put seven around the outside, and I'm gonna put one in the center, just like that. Okay, so now we're ready for our chocolate pudding. I've taken my chocolate pudding, and as a tip, I've added some heavy cream to the recipe to make it just a little extra creamy. I'm gonna take my chocolate pudding, and I'm just going to layer it over my brownies, just like that. And I wanna make sure that I use enough of this chocolate pudding to cover my brownies. And I also wanna take the pudding, and I wanna butt it right up against the glass dish because we want the outside of this trifle, all the ingredients to show as we display how beautiful it is going to be at the end. So that's how we do our chocolate pudding. Okay, and then we're gonna add our Cool Whip on top of our chocolate pudding. And we're gonna spread it all the way around to cover the chocolate pudding and again to the ends of our glass dish, just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna add our peanut butter and our candy toppings. So I'm gonna take my melted peanut butter and I'm just gonna do a layer around the whole bowl on top of the whipped cream, just like that. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take my peanut butter cups that have been cut in half and I'm just gonna drizzle them. And I wanna, again, make sure that I go to the ends of my bowl because we want this to look good, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my Reese's Pieces and I'm gonna do the same. So it's colorful and yummy. That looks awesome. Okay. Okay, so now we're ready for our second layer. We're just gonna repeat what we did with the brownies. Okay, so we've completed two layers of our trifle and now we're ready to dome up the top. So I have enough Cool Whip here that's left for me to put on top like this to make sort of like that mountain, all right? I'm just gonna take it all out, the rest of my Cool Whip, and I'm gonna place it right on top. And I'm gonna, like I said, dome it like a mountain. And then all that's left is the rest of our remaining ingredients. I'm gonna break up some of my remaining brownie on top, just like that. And I have some leftover cut uh, peanut butter cups, which I'm gonna pour on like that. And I have my six whole ones, which I'm gonna just place right into that whipped cream and one on top. My Reese's, my Reese's Pieces, just like that. That's looking good. And last but not least, our melted peanut butter that we're just gonna pour and drizzle on top, just like that. Wow. That's it, folks. That looks really good. That's our candy shop trifle. 
Okay friends, here it is, my candy shop trifle. It's all done and complete. You can see how beautiful the side looks and how we domed up the top with our whipped cream and all of our remaining ingredients. It's gonna be just perfect for your next holiday. For the full recipe, go down to the bottom in the description and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that little bell for notifications. We'll see you next time.